So, this is my 2001 Audi S4 uh, B5 chassis. If you know anything about these cars, you know that they come equipped with a 2.7 liter twin turbo V6 that made around 250 to 260 horsepower back when it was released. I pick this one up in much worse condition than you see it here. I'll uh, drop some pictures of this in the video so y'all can see what it looked like before. Um, for a pretty good deal. Uh, I was sitting in a guy's yard for about a year or so and he had it up on Craigslist for the longest time so I finally made him an offer and he let it go. Um, since I took hold of it, I've done quite a bit of paint work, got a new bumper for it, um, did some work on the engine to kind of clean it up because it was a bit of a hack job, uh, but I still got more work to do. This thing needs new turbos because they're whining a little bit. It needs to get a new timing belt set up because it's got a Gates Blue racing belt set up. And anybody who knows B5s knows that these things squeal and they squeak and they make a ton of noise and it's just really, really terrible to hear. I don't know if it's because of the belt or because of the bearings in the kit, uh, but either way, it's all coming out and I'm replacing it with an OEM Continental kit. Future plans for this will obviously be to address that issue with the timing belt and the turbos. I've also got to get some new downpipes because the Chinese downpipes the previous owner put on here um, are terrible. They leak. They just, they rattle, they sound awful. Um, in addition to that, I got a little bit of body work to do. Uh, the previous owner had rolled these fenders and they're just, they're not great. You can kind of see what I'm looking at here. Uh, they've been pushed out. I believe the car might have been bagged at one point. Other things I've done to it is I got some nice BBS wheels on this and I did some new Voteland suspension. Uh, the stock suspension that was on here was all blown, rattled, rode like crap. So these Voteland's are nice. I've got the same ones on my blue S4, and it really, really changes the way the car feels. Um, what's next is getting this thing aligned uh, to get it a little bit more safe for the road. And then in this video, I'm going to do a quick wash of the car on uh, interior detail, and then try to get this thing started and do a couple of uh, nice drive-by videos and get some cinematic shots for y'all. So, I had previously recorded a bunch of this stuff, and whenever I tried to transfer it to the computer, uh, the files corrupted. I don't know why, um, but they were all, like, pixelated and, and skipping and losing sound. Um, I'm not sure what happened to the file transfer. Usually it's pretty good, um, so I'm sorry about that. I'm going to do my best to remake what I can of the video. Um, I lost quite a bit of footage of trying to get the startup happening and some of the intro to the car. Uh, so... Please just bear with me as I try to make this work a little bit better. Turning for about an hour now. Um, we'll see if it's enough. I don't have very much fuel in here, so hopefully this thing cranks over. <laughs> Nothing. All right. Well, I didn't get on video, but this thing has started. Um, it's running pretty smooth. A couple of issues you can hear right away. Um, somebody put a Gates blue timing belt on this thing and they just, they're notorious for squealing. Um, I don't know if it's the belt itself or if it's just like the bearings that the kit comes with, but yeah, just not good. Not good all around. Um, but it, it runs pretty smooth. I mean, this is my first startup in about six or seven months. It's got a little bit of a misfire, um, but I think it seems to be driven for a little bit. Let's go take it to get some gas. All right, everything seems to be going okay so far.
that turbo is, is whistling a little bit. I don't know if it's picking up on the audio, but uh, that thing is just, it's tired. It, it's ready to go. Looks like my charging system's good. Coolant's coming up to temp. Probably won't see oil temp come up just yet. It's gonna take a little bit. Probably not going to shut it off for this uh, this fuel up. I know I shouldn't do that, but I don't want it to die. All right, well, um, it's running good other than the turbo. You know, give me its little whistle. Uh, this thing definitely needs an alignment, uh, but AC's blowing cold. I'm not getting check engine lights. I've got an airbag light on from some faulty sensor. As far as I know, this car's never been wrecked. Um, I just think I just got to get into the VCDS and, and check out what's causing that light to show up. Uh, but not bad. This is a, a, a good, a good little revival for this car. Um, hopefully, we can make some something happen for some content in the future. Uh, my plans are to one replace those downpipes so they stop uh, leaking because it's a terrible seal. Uh, two, I'm going to do a full paint correction, wash this thing, clean it up, and then three, uh, I plan to pull the engine, do the timing belt, um, replace those turbos, and then hopefully put this thing back on the market. Uh, it's come a long way since I got it, and it's, you know, previous state was terrible, um, but we'll go from there. All right, so day two of our little revival here on my S4. Um, this thing, not only was the inside dirty, but the outside is just absolutely filthy. Uh, you can see just how nasty this thing is. Uh, so <laughs> we're gonna give it a quick wash. Um, basic products that I use, um, I don't go over the top. Um, this one right here is just my Sonex Actifoam Energy. It's just a really basic soap. Um, I get a lot of these products through mystery boxes, through Detailer's Domain. I highly recommend doing that. You get all kinds of cool stuff, and it's a good way to try things out at a low entry point of cost. I'll also be using just my foam mitt here, and uh, my bucket, and this nice little power jet sprayer. Because I don't have a power washer, um, this is nice because it can turn just your regular garden hose pressure into something that can at least knock off bugs and grime and stuff from your car.
So I do thank you for checking out this video. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this content. I want to incorporate the S4s a little bit more into the channel. Um, so it's not just all the mini bikes. Um, the big one that's going to be coming soon is the blue S4. This thing has been sitting in my garage with a blown motor for the better part of this year. Uh, had a, a bad run in with uh, my fourth year synchros and uh, my car found second gear at about 100 miles an hour. So, uh, not the best situation, but uh, you know, you take your hits with these kind of things. Cars are a, a hobby and <laughs> that's it, right? Uh, so we'll move forward. I've got a new engine over here on the ground. Um, this thing has been getting worked on for a while. I went through, put a new harness on it. Uh, I've got new center housings for the turbos and I have done a new timing kit on it, uh, new valve cover seals, new cam seals, pretty much everything got redone on this. So it should run pretty well. It's actually from an all road and what that means is that it's a stronger casting. The BEL block, which is what this one is, uh, supposed to have thicker mains than the APB stock motors for the S4s. Um, so in theory, it's supposed to hold more power. It was on eBay and it was cheap enough, so I figured why not. Thank you all for checking this video out. Um, I look forward to seeing you next episode, so peace.